I'm Bill Elsey with Showplace Lawns. How to aerate and overseed your lawn. We'll start with the aeration. The aerator has a series of spoons and as it rotates, punctures the soil, a good aerator will also pull a plug, what we call a plug, pull that out and lay it on top as a top dressing. We always say that it looks like you've had a dog convention once we've aerated the lawn. Aerations are good in their own right uh, for what they do. Uh, they open the soil up for proper drainage. They open the soil up for airflow in and out and through a great disease preventer. Um, and also its name, aerate, gets the air to the roots, which is where the grass breathes. In this particular case, we're using the aerator to sort of open the soil up a little bit for a seed bed. And especially during the fall and in time of year in this part of the country, where we put, when we put ryegrass out in the winter, to run the aerator first across the lawn and then follow that with the rye seed. We put the seed out with a fertilizer spreader and we'd fill the bin on the fertilizer spreader and open it up and just make passes, making sure to see where the seed fell so we can overlap it when we make our turns. And once we've done that, a lot of times we will just walk all over where we have been and run the, the wheels of the fertilizer spreader over it to try to bed the seed down a little bit before turning the water on it. Uh, this works fairly well. And one other thing that uh, you should do is cut the grass a little lower than normal at first, then aerate it, then put the seed out. This will accomplish the aeration and the overseeding of the lawn.